Oh yeah. This is happening. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here again in Twin Falls, Idaho with one I, I've had everybody and their brother asking me to cover this thing. You asked, I got it. You tell me models you want to cover and I will make those priority targets. This is the between 53 to 5400 pound Imagine 22 XLE. Um, what's interesting is it's basically like a towable motorhome. I've seen like small class B plus or mini C's with a floor plan like this. And there's something about it that just works. It works on so many levels and it checks so many boxes. The storage in it is fantastic. And despite the fact that it weighs, you know, less than 5,400 pounds, it has a huge feel inside of here. The colors are nice and light and bright and creamy. The, 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 all of the space is, is fantastic, but like the fact that they still found room for a true queen bed. Um, they have, uh, you know, direct facing entertainment center where you don't have to neck crank your head around. Uh, they've got windows on the door side that are so hard to find. Uh, there, there's, just, there's a hundred little things that they really nail on this one that you just really struggle to find on a smaller couples camper. Most of the time when you're in something this size, you have either a dinette or a sofa, and this gives you both. It is, it's a stone cold killer. Now, uh, among our different chains of dealerships here, you know, the Bishop's RV group, um, we have other RV manufacturers who make similar things here. But really, at the end of the day, this is the original. This is where the credits do. Uh, Imagine made this floor plan, made it an absolute star, and a lot of other people have jumped on the bandwagon. That doesn't mean their RVs are bad. Like the Cougar 22 MLS is a very similar layout that has a couple really awesome standout features on it as well. Which one's a little bit better? Let's have a little bit of a brand battle and you let me know. Also, let me know what you think about this one right here. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you like about it, what you would change. Let's get started. And this is one of those RVs. I'm telling you, you have to see it in person. The pictures, the videos that you might see out there, they just, they don't do it justice. Um, the uh, the color palette in here being on a little bit on the lighter side, also the completely carpetless nature of this floor plan and ventless, by the way, that is some easy breezy, beautiful cover girl kind of camping where everything is just simple and easy. You can broom it out, sweep it out kind of situation. It, like even the way that the, the kitchen cabinetry wraps around right there, this thing, it just looks and feels so much larger than like when you look at the model number, you're like, oh, that's the 22, honey. I'm like, get in it, get in it. Because this has the features of like a 30 foot super slide. Like I said, you have a sofa and a dinette instead of a sofa or a dinette. Um, again, it gives us, let me sit down at the main chair here. You can see how it, it gives us, uh, you know, good window coverage over here on the door side of the RV. Now they do a frosty glass privacy window. It still gives you some light. Uh, if you wanted to swap that out for a true full viewing window and add like a shade, you could do that. That's something that we could potentially get you a, uh, a quote on here. But uh, the, the, the direct viewing of that TCL Roku smart TV is awesome, which, you know, if you're a streaming media enthusiast the way that I am and more and more and more people are, it's fantastic. The dining table on this is pretty wild too. You're looking at it going, what is going on? Guys, it's adjustable. If you look at that, there's little like pressure clamps. You can make it taller or shorter. And actually what's cool is when it goes down, the, it's center supported for sleeping. So it's actually a pretty solid sleeper. Even though it's a small dinette, you're not probably going to put a big person there anyway. The fact is it's just sturdier and the table's just not going to buckle and bow down uh, over time. And again, theater seating right here straight across from the TV. And I do want to mention this floor plan is pretty much like theater only. A lot of times when I see a theater seat, there's going to be someone that asks, uh, why not a hide a bed? And the answer is because of the type of like sofa situation that you have or slide out situation that you have going on. This slide doesn't actually go down to the floor. So if you tried to put a hide a bed in here, it, it would never be flat is effectively the, the hiccup with that. What is nice is as you can see on the left hand side, this is an open floor plan. It makes it look and feel bigger, but they did include a curtain. So you can privatize this, which is awful darn nice. And notice how the curtain curls off so that it doesn't encompass the entry door. So if somebody walks in and you're in bed, uh, at least you have that kind of visual break point a little bit there. 
Now, uh, this is a 60 by 80 true queen bed. There is no ability to put a king in these, in case someone's curious. If you're going to ask that and I saved you the trouble, just hit the comment button, leave me a little note. It says, hey, thanks, nerd. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, if you're looking for a king, you like this floor plan, check out the Cougar 22 MLS. It's a almost identical layout, but with the Cougar take on the concept. Where I think Imagine did something a little bit better is what they did here around the bed in terms of storage is awesome. Because they banked on that queen bed, they really built up and bulked up around it and they used every little inch of space in really smart and creative ways. Four dresser drawers up in the bedroom, fantastic. Dual side pockets and look how deep those go. You know, you I, I think a lot of CPAP machine users could actually put that in there. Not to mention there's household and USB outlets inside of the headboard cubbies on both of those, which uh, <laughs> pretty awesome. The, uh, the kind of Euro-ish inspired cabinetry they're using, another area that that presents itself is not just the color palette, but the fact that they're using almost like a, a, a Class B plus motorhome might use, the kind of uh, hidden hinges that will also catch themselves, which is kind of cool. It's just, it's a bunch of little details that they put in there. I think, uh, you know, if you're looking for a queen bed, I think that Imagine does one of the very best. I think Freedom Express does a good one, but they don't build a floor plane like this. Not to mention, the bed is easy lift and cool kind of thing. These little sliding storage trays. I've mentioned before, it reminds me of what Open Range used to do in their um, Light and Roamer series travel trailers back when those things were out. You can take it out, but I don't know. I kind of like it. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Now, flipping ourselves back around, I can't just... How big and open it feels, considering I'm less than 5,400 pounds on this thing. I love it. Uh, down here, we talked about the table, but the booth. There is storage below it, but I really like what they did over here, building the shoe garage into it right next to the door. I, I wish, I wish more brands would do smart little detail stuff like that. It doesn't really cost anything. It just makes the RV way, way better, you know? Now, the control panel, like you don't see it, right? That's because she's hidden away over here. Our stereo unit's up here. But um, what's kind of cool, you just want to, you know, awning, water heater, all that kind of stuff. You can just push buttons. Or you can go digital with this thing. And you can operate that off your phone as well. So uh, with uh, Compass Connect, I believe it's called, which is just their name for the LCI One Control system. Uh, it, it, is, it is very handy. And if you choose to also get the LCI tire pressure monitoring system, uh, that can uh, also talk to that system. So you can have one app on your phone that monitors all of that stuff, you know. Now, um, we've got a lot of kitchen to cover here. Let's start right about there. Now, they do a couple things I really like here. They do something also. I'm not the world's biggest fan of. I'm going to try to be fair with you. We've got the 12-volt uh, compressor fridge over here. And any time in a grand design, any time in any of their brands, you have a 12-volt fridge, you have a solar package to help support it. That is just a nice one-two punch combo. Something I like, man, they put the drawers in here. They are just drawers galores in these things. Uh, anywhere that they can possibly stuff one, they load it right up, you know. Now, um, over here, we've got the, uh, these are all sealed edge press membrane countertops. Nice big farm sink. There should be, I think, I could be wrong. This is an XLS. Full Imagine has a rollaway dish drying rack to cover that. Either that didn't get displayed or the XLS doesn't come with that. Apologies. I'm kind of, I've seen so many RVs today. Uh, they are starting to really blend together on me. So apologies there. But I love the clarity and the definition of this. Like, you have a sliding privacy door here for the bathroom. But the way that they gave us that little curved away, cut away hutch wall, it's just a nice visual touch. You know what I mean? And because the uh, the stovetop, the cooker, basically, is away from these windows, those windows still have blackout roller nightshades just like everything else. That's a nice little thing. Now, I said I'd show you something I don't really love, too. Well... You aren't seeing a lot of power outlets. That's because they're under the overhead cabinets with these having a uh, roughly like an inch and a half wall. The walls are not thick enough. The outside side walls are not thick enough to install outlets. So they had to do what they could where they could. It's just kind of one of those, 
ugh, unavoidable sort of things. I don't love it, but I also don't know that I really necessarily have a better answer for it. One of the other cool things here I didn't talk about before because we were staring straight at the television is the fact that it's on a double jointed swing arm. So if you want to pivot it toward the bed at night, one TV can basically service the rig. This camper is not toilet TV certified. We can't watch TV when we're in the can, man. But uh, short of that, she's pretty darn good. I think that is why the good Lord invented cell phones. I haven't verified that, but I'm pretty sure if I Google that somewhere, there's going to be a link that supports it. <laughs> So uh, over here in the bathroom, let's begin with the fact that they have an easy step in shower and it's a nice uh, like rectangular shower as opposed to a radius. So you don't have uh, quite the uh, elbow room issues in it as it were. The uh, shower in this, since this is six and a half foot tall, my head pretty much does need to be uh, in the bubble as it were. Um, the countertop space though, this is something they did pretty good with. That being said, it's... One of the few, few drawbacks of this floor plan, it's a little tight around the toilet. Most people, I think, are going to fit just fine. There might be some folks that do struggle with that a touch. I like to kind of be a little fair and a little real world about that. I'm not personally a fan of open storage cubbies. I like, though, that they didn't waste the space, and I fully acknowledge that in this floor plan with a hanging towel rack here and a couple hanging hooks, it's not like they could really put doors in that. So once again... Where this one does kind of have a couple little uh, points on the struggle bus, I think they did the best they could. But something this floor plan does great is that road mode travel access, baby. And there's what I mean with the slide fully retracted. I wanted to start basically from the bathroom of this one to show you that, yeah, you can, you can walk from the front to the back of this. Frankly, this camper doesn't really necessarily need the slide you're just really gonna want it and again just to really kind of showcase here uh again with this being as i said this is like a towable motorhome floor plan it's a motorized idea that was adapted to a towable platform it works really well but as a result because motorhomes have to be travel accessible this one organically is that also by the way includes access to the sink all right now first thing here you're going where's the nose cap batman all right so Imagines have a nose cap. This is an Imagine XLS. This is uh, the, I kind of call it just the Fax Ma'am series. It's not the, like, over the top, we've added a lot of upgrades, but at the same time, tell me where you really felt this was lacking. Because, again, you start looking at all the storage, the space, the travel accessibility. This is an absolute monster setup right here. Um, up front, they have a very solid-sized uh, full pass-through compartment. And uh, in the XLS series, they don't have quite as an aggressive uh, docking station, so it doesn't tend to eat up as much of that uh, pass-through space right there. Now, a cool thing they're doing on this is up front, it does actually still have an aluminum no-sweep. It's not uh, fiberglass. Thing is, they're using an aluminum up front that is 67% thicker than say common sidewall aluminum like you might be looking at right there. The idea behind that is that it resists heat expansion and contraction. Uh, it helps, uh, it just deals with wind buffeting, not to mention the uh, the cross member skeletal structure below the nose on this is fantastic on these. Um, Imagines like all of our laminated grand designs have the uh, Titan seal system where underneath the exterior seal a lot of people don't know rvs from the factory have a second seal system and they don't know that because after a short amount of time it dries out and it rots away you don't have that problem on this because they're using a mylar tape on all the structural corners which includes the slide outs by the way so you basically always have a second line of defense on one of these now we've got as you can see the double motion lighting which i'm a big fan of not to mention we are prepped and ready up there that is uh, a prep point for a uh, lci uh, tire pressure monitoring system that you can basically just plug and play they are not hard to set up and good job guys putting that battery disconnect up here uh, where it's you know not down low not gonna get crushed underneath here uh, they have themselves the enclosed underbelly, radiant barrier material going through the belly, up the nose, and across the roof for that, uh, you know, heating, cooling efficiency. 
Now, one of the handy things here is this, uh, this floor plan is very conducive to a single sewer outlet right there. Um, and these uh, are running on Goodyear Endurance radials, by the way. And now there have been a lot of RVs that suddenly have adopted Goodyears, which, okay, cool, better than nothing. Uh, Grand Design's been doing it for a couple years now. Um, not because it's the only tire they could get, because it's the tire that they chose to use. Uh, the corner jacks on the XLS series, by the way, are manual, whereas in the, the full blood imagines, as it were, they are power jacks. So that's kind of some of the differences here, is the full imagine just takes the SLS, or the XLS, too many different alphabet soup letters in this industry. Man, if I can't keep it straight, I don't know how you people do, but again, the idea being it just takes it up a notch. Now, a couple cool things over here. Outside TV hookups right there above the tires. Uh, this is a little cold water sprayer port. In the uh, docking center, you saw where there was a hot, cold outside shower. You can use that same coil hose over here to just do some quick campsite cleanups. Black tank flushes over here on the door side, by the way, because that's where the bathroom is located. That gives you the most direct route to actually flush those tanks out. And then down below here, we have ourselves, of course, the propane cooker hooker. Yes, sir. Now, a couple things to cover for you up here on the roof. First is the little white hockey puck here. I'm in reverse view mode, it's behind me. I'm not very good at doing the weatherman thing, obviously. But what that's doing is it's letting the roof breathe so that it's not baking the air conditioning ducting so that the air conditioning ducting isn't baking you, uh, as it were, makes sense. Then again, you see that 165 watt solar panel up there. Um, with Grand Design does a very similar thing to say like Rockwood and Flagstaff. Uh, if you get a 12 volt fridge, it's coming with the solar package. Uh, so uh, on your imagines, it's 165 watt with a 50 amp MPPT controller. And if you know about those things, that means you could, you could add a lot of extra panels to this if you wanted to. Give us a call, we'll get you quotes, or you could do it yourself after the fact, whatever works. The fact is, if you want to expand on that capacity, you, you can go big. All right, everybody, once again, let me know what you think about our good, bad, ugly, and in-between, just like I've done for you. And, uh, you know, if you'd like to see where we have one of these at, uh, you know, the Bish's location nearest you, you want to check pricing, you want to check availability, I always leave you a link for that in the video description where you can check that stuff anytime. You never have to pick up the phone, you never have to call and give somebody your social security number or anything like that. It's right there. It's one click away, and you will always get to see current and accurate pricing that way, as opposed to something that maybe used to be true six months ago, because who knows how long after this posted you're watching it. Most people I've noticed don't seem to check the posting dates, and that always gets you the best info. Uh, short of that, if you like how we cover these things, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next time around. So best wishes from Bishes. You take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.